What's going on dev? Welcome back to AppDev channel. In today's episode, we will create from scratch a clock app using vanilla JavaScript. We are also are going to use this new and popular trend Glasmorphism on it. It's a quite simple project to do, but at the same time, it will teach you a lot of cool things in CSS and also JavaScript. So it's a great project with a lot of new things for you to learn and by the end of this tutorial you will know how to make it by yourself. Hey, if you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Alright devs, let's start our project really from the beginning. All we have for now is this picture, there is a link down below. So let's create our file structure. Let's create our markup, okay, index.html. We also need a style.css and of course our JavaScript, okay, app.js. Let's close this for now and here let's very quickly create our boilerplate, all right? Let's come down here to the title and for the title, let's say clock app glismorphism javascript, okay? It's quite simple. And we also need a link to connect our markup to our style, okay? And down below here, close to the closing body tag, we need also a script point to our external JavaScript file. Now let's move into our markup, which is going to be actually quite simple, okay? First of all, let's have a, our main container, the one that's going to wrap around everything. We have a box. And inside this one, we have this clock. This clock is gonna be holding the entire clock, okay? And now let's have our, a few uh, subclasses, okay? Like this one, our. They are like holding blocks for each pointer, okay? The ID is gonna be HR. This one is gonna be the, for the mirrors. And the class here is gonna be MN, all right? It represents each pointer and this holding block here, the last one is sec and let's change the ID in the class to SC, okay? And that's it, okay? As I told you, it's very simple just a very simple markup, okay? Let me show you that right now we don't have almost anything or we don't have actually anything I'm going to open it with live server here in the realm of CSS, where the magic happens, okay? Let's start here with our CSS, reset, margin zero, pad also zero. And here for the box sizing, it's gonna be border box, okay? And moving to the body, in the body one, uh, the layout is gonna be flex, just like content center along the main axis, along the cross axis, like content center, mean height is gonna be 100 VH, okay? The full screen. We want now create a background color, okay, let's grab the body and use a pseudo class here, okay, the content is always nothing, okay, the position here is going to be absolute and let's locate it with top is zero and left is going to be also zero, okay, that, let's give a width of 100% of its parent, okay, of the body, the height is going to be also 100%. Okay, so it's gonna cover the whole body. And now let's give the color we want, okay? Remember, as it's good to have strong colors, give the impression that our clock is really made of glass, all right? Linear gradient, 174 degrees, you can play around with those numbers and have your own linear gradient, okay? Or you can put a picture behind this one, all right? And let's, here is gonna be 52%. Let's pick another color here, a G3, or no, this, oops, like, looks like it's wrong, okay, a G320HP, a purplish color, this one is going to be 80, 40, 80%, 80 percent, and let's go to our last one, it's going to be FGA000, it's going to be 110 percent, and yeah, we have our, now let's quickly move into the box, okay, let's make it position relative, the Z index is going to be 1, it's going to be the top of our background. Let's give a width of 400 pixels, height also 400 pixels, 
and backdrop filter blur let's apply a blur of 25 pixels for now okay let's also apply a border radius make it a round of 50 percent and we also want to have a border a very small one one pixel rgba we want that to be white okay and for the transparency here dot 25 as you can see it looks like it's made of glass let's reduce the blur to five pixels okay let's move down here and you want to create on this one a shadow okay so let's have a container the position here is going to be relative and let's have also a pseudo class okay before content nothing all right and let's have here our for the position is going to be absolute okay it will that come from bottom 150 pixels the width is going to be here let me see 100 percent of it of its parent height 6 pixels and the background does give a color so you know what you have here we don't want to win this shape we're gonna change the shape to body rate 50 percent i know looks like it's a hole okay but it's not a hole let's change that okay let's pick the radial gradient rgba pick the black color and for the transparency here dot two okay transparency transparent and let me save as you can see we have this little shadow down here all right all right it's time for us to move into the clock itself okay let's populate this one in the box let's grab the clock here and for the position is gonna be absolute let's position it with from the top 10 pixels from the left also 10 pixels okay from the right 10 pixels and from the bottom also 10 pixels and for the layout let's grab flex along the main x center and along the cross x align item also center okay we're putting all this element in the center the background let's pick a radial gradient transparent transparent let's pick the white color 255 and let's apply a transparency of dot two all right if i give a save right now you're gonna see what you have so far let me just have a save and yeah that's what you have so far and now we're gonna add something else here to our background the picture of our clock the link is down below in the video description all right and now we have the clock here okay let's also change the size here the background size is going to be cover and we also want that to be round okay so border radius is going to be 50 percent make it round the backdrop filter here we will also want that to be blur 25 pixels all right and as we did before we also are gonna apply a border one pixel solid the for the color here is gonna be white all right to uh, 50 50 just pair dot two and yeah nice it looks like it's really made of glass and down below here we're gonna have a get rid of the body from the bottom so bother bottom none there is no bother in here and bother right also none so you don't have margin of bottom and bother right okay and now let's polish it applying some box shadow okay minus 10 and minus 10 offset 20 pixels blur radius and let's pick the color here rdba is going to be a white again and here for the transparent dot one let me give more space so you can see well here and again 10 pixels 
10 pixels offset, 20 pixels blur radius, RGBA, and this time we're gonna grab black and transparent dot one percent. Okay, let's apply one more. Zero and forty pixels offset, five pixels blur radius, and again the black color, and you have this nice box shadow. We already have the face of our clock, so now we are gonna continue create the hands. Okay, let's start by create that little. Th round thing in the mirror okay i don't know how to say that in english position here is gonna be absolute width is gonna be 15 pixels height the same thing and of course this is square the for the background let's pick a white color it fits our project okay and we don't want that to be square so body radius is gonna be 50 percent and yeah that's round that's nice and the z index here is going to be 20 it's going to be always on the top okay let's grab here the hour second here okay hour minute and second and let's apply the position absolute all right and here let's have the hour okay the holding block and the HR that represent the hands and let's give a width and height of 16 pixels let's do the same here now for the mirrors and MN all right mirrors and MN width and height of 190 pixels and the last one here the second is an SC width is gonna be 230 pixels and also a height of 230 and now let's grab the HR that represent our hand MN represent the mirrored hand and SC for the second uh, hand and let's apply for layout the display is going to be flex for the background color just for now to show you what we're doing let's have a orange okay just like content along the main axis is going to be center and the position is going to be absolute, okay? The body radius is going to be 50% because we want that to be round. Now we have the idea, I can get rid of this color. It is all ready for us, so let's pick the HR. Okay, let's create the our hand. Position here is going to be absolute, width is going to be 8 pixels. And the height is going to be 80 pixels, alright? For the background, in this case, let's pick a red color. It's gonna fit our project, all right. And okay, now it's working. I forgot this dot. Z index here is gonna be three. Body radius six pixels to make to be round on the corners. Now we wanna create the mirrored hand. Okay, MN. Again, let's use the pseudo class and the content is always nothing and the folder position here is going to be absolute width is going to be 4 pixels and the height here is going to be 90 pixels all right for the background column in this case it's going to be white we will also want to put that on the top on the our hand and body radio again 6 pixels and now moving to the last hand okay this one is going to be the second hand all right sc the pseudo class before the content is always nothing but the position like the other is going to be absolute with just two pixels and height 150 pixels all right also for the color this is going to be also white all right and z index is going to be at the top it's going to be five but the radius is going to be six pixels All right, devs, it's JavaScript time. Let's have some fun, okay? The clock has six small divisions, 360 degrees. So each division is six degrees. Is that crystal clear? Okay. So now let's grab the, those IDs here for the minutes. Hours, minutes, and seconds, okay? Let's bring it into the DOM. How we do that? 
document query select. Once we bring it in, we can manipulate and do whatever we want with those, okay? So we just bring it in and let's save it into a variable, all right? The first one here is going to be HR for the hour. The second one here, MN and SC for the seconds. We are basically bring those elements into the DOM. Let me show you on the console.log this one, HR, for example. And as you can see here, we have this div here, the HR for the hour. MN, I'll show you here, we have this one for the minutes. So it's simple like that. We just bring it to the DOM so you can manipulate it. All right, and now let's have some logic here. Let day equals new date. And here we're going to create a new object date with the current time. Uh, let HH equals to this object here. Okay, day dot get hours. We're going to get the hours. Okay, let MM equals, let's grab our object again. And let's get the minutes from it. Okay. Let me finish here and wherever it is, let's multiply that for our six degrees. Okay, let SS equals our object and use math get seconds times degrees. And now we're going to apply what you have up here to make the hands move it. Okay, let's start with HR, then style, transform and of course you want to make that rotate okay so let's have this those back ticks rotate z all right dollar sign h h for hour plus minutes divided by seconds and degree okay this one we are applying the h h to the hour hand all right the second one is going to be a uh, simple Okay, rotate Z, dollar sign, the minutes, from both degree, okay? And move to the last one, the seconds. Let's use the same thing, style on transform. Let's make it rotate. And here, let's pass in the seconds. As you can see, it's almost done, but it's not because you have to reload every time you want to check the hour. So it does make sense. Let's automate that. In order to do that, we're going to use set interval. And let's copy everything here and paste it in. Okay. So this is a function. And let's apply one second. So this is going to run every second. All right. As you can see, our beautiful clock is done. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe and you also click that little bell down below. So you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye bye. See you in the next one.